So for the past 10 years, it seems like cars are not cool, especially in America. Um, the media, the traditional automaker, everybody seems to be telling us that SUVs are the way to go. Uh, and we sure see more and more SUVs on the road. It, it seems like SUVs are the thing right now. And uh, when customers started shifting towards SUVs, uh, it was a very easy choice for traditional automakers to, to make. It was very easy to make for them because SUVs cost much more money, and so you have bigger margins uh, that, uh, than selling cars. So a lot of them um, just moved away slowly and then suddenly from their cars. Um, to the point today that if you actually want a car and not an SUV or a truck because I don't know, maybe you don't find them good looking or, or, or something, or maybe you want something small. Um, if you want that, it's to the point where you almost don't have a choice for a domestic brand. Like you, you, can't, you almost can't find an American brand to sell you a car. It's only going to be a utility vehicle. Uh, or you have to go for a foreign brand, right? You have to go, you have to go for, for a Toyota or a Honda, and it comes with its different set uh, of issues and, and thoughts for the customer. So... Let me just go over quickly the lineup of American brands. So this is Ford. Like if you go on Ford's website, there are no cars. There are no cars. It's it's mostly SUVs and, and crossover. And keep in mind, the electrified is lo largely this and, and, and their hope of electrifying these cars pretty soon. Um, it's all big cars. Like Ford, Ford only sells big cars in America. The only small car that Ford kept, and I, I go to the website, it's kind of insane. Uh, they have a link, you click cars, you only have this. That's like the only car that they kept, 27,700. Uh, and that's, that's of course, that's a, that's a car, but that's, that's nowhere near the, 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 the practical idea that we all have of, of a car, of a tiny car, a compact car. So if you want to buy Ford, you almost have no choice. You have to buy an SUV. But guess what? Some people don't like SUVs. But let me move on. Let's look at the other main American competitor, right? These two companies, Ford and Chevrolet, they have dealerships across all over America. So let's look at Chevrolet, the other main American brand. Well, what do we see for Chevrolet? Uh, it's kind of crazy. I mean, besides the Bolt, which I don't understand why Bolt is listed as a, as a SUV. I don't understand that, but that's okay. Um, you just have you you just have big cars. Like uh, aside from the Bolt, these are all these are all big SUVs. These are all big cars. And then you click on cars, right? Click on cars, and all you have left. Is, is the Malibu, which, by the way, the Malibu was, was their more expensive car, right? Uh, expensive cars are easy to find. It's, it's, it's the compact cars that are hard to find. So uh, you're like, well, wait, there's, there's more American brands. Let's look at the last one, and then I'll stop. Let's look at Buick. You go to Buick. Buick doesn't do cars anymore. All Buick does is SUVs, right? And Buick belongs to GM. So, so it, it seems like nobody makes cars anymore, or, or like that cars aren't cool, or that's something going on in the car market. You can't find a car. And so the U.S. tiny car market, and I'm being, you know, kind of joking here because the rest of the world would say, please read the car market. But in, 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 in the, I would argue some of the vehicles I'm going to talk about would be considered tiny cars in the U.S. So in 2018, when, when Ford stopped the Ford Focus, when they, they entirely stopped it, it used to cost less than $18,000, you know, 17950 17, That's what it used to cost. Right, and today, if you want to go with Ford for a vehicle, right, and you're just looking to from get to get from point point A to to point B, that's why you're getting a vehicle. You want to just move from point A to point B, and you want to run your car. Imagine what? Imagine that. Well, the only thing you have available is a bigger substitute, which then is not a direct substitute, right? Uh, which is at least 26,000 MSRP, so an $8,000 difference. So like I said, it was very convenient for traditional auto to get rid of tiny cars. It was easy for them to do that because it's, it's, it's a huge value proposition. You get to increase your price by 30 to 40%. So it seems like the, ti the U.S. tiny car market has been abandoned, literally abandoned by U.S. automakers. And I believe this is an opportunity for Tesla, uh, and we'll see why with the March March 1 Investor Day. But if you look, 
you know, it seems clear to me that, that some money has been left on the table. And this gap is mostly being filled by Toyota and Honda, which is still has the Civic or the Prius. That's what fills this gap. But there's many reasons why people sometimes want tiny cars. And, and it's not a trivial amount of, of people. It's not trivial. Uh, you have many people who simply can't afford to drive an SUV for which having, having a car near the $20,000 price point is a good idea. Um, so they can't afford to drive an SUV, you know, because SUVs, why they're more expensive, they take more gas, more maintenance. Uh, they're more in- expensive to insure, right? So there's a lot of there's a lot of of, uh, of reasons why would one not want a big car, especially if you almost don't drive. Like if 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 you just just drive, you know, two thousand miles a year and you live in a small town, there's a lot of reasons why you would want why you would not want an SUV. Then you have other people who actually, and this is, this is a large large segment of my population. Be, be, believe me, I, I I have friends like that who say, oh, you know, it's a cute car. I just want to drive, drive a cute a cute tiny car. Like in 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 family members of mine, oh, I want to drive this car because it's cute, right? Because people who just who just don't want a big car, they want a cute car. Um, oftentimes they do mostly city driving. They could be college student. They could be retirees. They could be using the car once um, once a week so that's a market and then the last one which is i think the even bigger market is fleets fleets and fleets that's uh that's uh the fleets are, are very very important tiny cars make sense for the fleets and it's also worth noting that when they stopped tiny cars, right, a lot of people were were very upset about them stopping stopping con- t- tiny cars. You know, a lot of people were like, "Well, wh- why are they stopping?" For example, Fusions. I see them everywhere. People seem to like them. There seemed to be a lot of demand for those. You know, uh, popular with government agencies, right? The government is one of the surest customers you can get. They were they were using these cars. Uh, was it Ford? Ford stopped the Taurus. The Taurus was, was very very popular uh, among among local and city governments. Most Mostly used for police cars, um, so they stop. They, they stop all of this, and you know, even even, and you, you've probably seen these cars that are seen on the road. You may not know that they don't make them anymore in the U.S. Um, like even even if you go to the Ford website and say you're interested in in, in in buying a Ford Focus, you type oh Ford Focus, you want to buy a brand new Ford Focus. They try to sell you their cheapest SUVs, but maybe maybe you don't want an SUV. Maybe you want a car. Maybe you want what the rest of the world calls a car. And that's where I believe the point of the video is coming here. The point of the video is, did Legacy Auto leave a blue ocean for Tesla? Let me explain. A ti- uh, Is the tiny car market a blue ocean? Well, what do I mean by that? A blue ocean is kind of a, of a white space market opportunity that is not occupied by many people. There, a blue ocean is when there is very little competition. Uh, and, you know, this is to me, the car market right now has become a b- kind of a blue ocean where there is very little competition because you, you have the Asian manufacturers that are still here, but the domestic makers are gone, right? So little competition means higher margin, right? Uh, and the competition right now is high in the SUV space. If you look at all of the cars that are trying to, all of the, all of the automakers that are trying to sell cars, in the US right now, they are coming after the Model Y. They're trying to go after the Model Y. Now, believe me, I'm not worried at all for the Model Y, but that's that's a, that's a, that's an entirely different discussion. I'm not worried at all for the Model Y. I'm just saying the, the effort of competitors of Tesla right now, their efforts are all based on trying to compete with their SUVs, and they are not focusing much on the small or the tiny car market. They're also going for towards SUVs because that's where they get the, the eighty-five thousand up to eighty-five thousand dollars a year. You get the seven thousand five hundred tax credit. So high competition in the SUV space, including the Model Y of Tesla. Little competition in the car space, including the Model Three, which you know I would argue is a little bit of a more expensive car. But this is where this comes in. Tesla appears to be well placed in the U.S. tiny car market because they may, and these are remorse that have been confirmed all over the internet, they may release a Model 2. They may release a Model 2 um, in 2024, and it could be that this Model 2 is announced uh, on March 1st of 2023. And so if they release a Model 2, and these are these are rendering artists, artists' renderings of what a, what a Model 2 could could look like. 
But if they release a Model 2, say, in 2024, imagine the wonderful competitive position that they'll be in. Because Legacy Auto exited. Legacy, Leg- Legacy Auto is not, is not playing in this field anymore. They, they exited. You know, Chevy exited. Ford exited. Buick exited. They went away. So, 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 wow, you know, oh, wait, you know, it seems like Ford and GM went away. You know, the plants were closed in 2018. It's not like they can be agile and be like, okay, let me electrify really quickly my Ford Focus because you shut down the plan for the fusion, for the cruise, you know. And so I don't know if Tesla planned this or knew this was going to happen, but I believe this is a great strategy. This is a great chess move here for Tesla because now as they release their tiny mar- car market, uh, as, they are, as they release their tiny car, they are entering what seems to be a blue ocean, which is tiny cars in the US, very little competition. They, see, they, they, they may be uh, entering a very, very attractive market in the tiny, market, tiny car market just because Ford and GM have abandoned and left that segment. So this was not investment advice. Um, I hope I hope you kind of understand and see the point I'm making in the video that that you know yes they are less expensive right Model Two is going to be less expensive, uh, but there's also way less competition, uh, and I hope you like the video. Please like, please subscribe, please follow me on Twitter. I appreciate any like I can get. Thank you so much and have a wonderful day.